My name is Wolfgang. I'm senior engineer and CEO of PQ Umbel Technik, and um, we got some requests to show, have a look into the production to see a rotation system before it is delivered. Come with me, follow me, and have a look into the container. This is a system typically uh, installed in a container plug and play. And um, if you come with me, there are different components. Uh, for this system, not in detail, but we need different pumps, some for feeding screw pumps, some for pumping the sludge, discharging to clients, um, sludge dewatering, or maybe to PPU scope sludge dewatering. We have, this is a pump, for example, for a denitrification, which is downstream installed. On the left side, you see this is a core part, this is a recycling pump for bringing air into the uh, flotation. This is saturation line here on the top. On the right side you see the mixing line for, for chemicals. And on the left side this component, this is a funnel to collect the sludge and discharge it, discharge it with a pump. You see different pressure level uh, sensors. Um, you see, for example, for pH uh, regulation, some zones, uh, injection lines, pressure re release valve. You see air splitters for adjusting the air flow, pressures, um, manometers. So what we see here is the main control unit, control box for the whole system and for other um, container uh, components, for example, there is also included a, a small biological system and buffering of the wastewater. But all these devices are here together in one control unit. Um, you see the control panel. It is a touch panel, you know, for the different components, for example, such as a uh, flotation system, uh, the sludge treatment, and uh, the fixed bed reactors, which is a biological system, and uh, furthermore, all the pumps sensors are on this display, and there are different uh, menu points to switch through the control unit. Uh, it is a little bit noisy now in the container. We started up the system with fresh water. This is from our testing field. We have a rainwater reservoir in the bottom of the hall, you know, 80,000 liters. We use the water now. So it's with clear water operated. Um, you see outside uh, is the clear water area. And if you look in the middle of the conical duct, you see here the sludge discharge. This is very important. Uh, there are the very fine bubbles released. We operate the, all our duct units with a bubble size between 40 and 60 micron. So you can also say it's like a milky water. Um, the bubbles need a little bit time to float. So for this reason, we started the unit two, three minutes before. For, the, for discharging the sludge, uh, this valve, uh, this piston process this tube for a few seconds, uh, the outlet and then the water releases here, lifts by airlift to the sludge. I do it now by hand. So you will see this. You see the fine bubbles come out of the, of the center by airlift. Okay, I go away. Then you see long operation. This is a normal, it's in an automatic mode, it can be adjusted from the client's operator uh, with the training from us, how often it is done. So also with this, with this funnel in the center, we can compress the sludge, we can make it very thick, we can go directly, without a thickening, directly into a sludge press. This is a very big advantage for the client, because you need not, not a furthermore thickening. You can go directly to a sludge press. We achieve with this compressing zone with a standard up up to 6% dry substance. 